Hi everyone, in this video lecture, I'll demonstrate the morphology of the permanent maxillary lateral incisor. The permanent maxillary lateral incisors are the second tooth from the midline. This is the first tooth, maxillary central, and this is the second tooth, the maxillary lateral. Same for the left side, this one is a central, and this one is a maxillary lateral incisor. It helps or it supplements the maxillary central incisor in function. Basically, it is a cutting, also a cutting tooth. This tooth emerges into the oral cavity by the age of 8 to 9 years and the root completion is around 11 years. There are a number of variations that are associated with these maxillary permanent lateral incisor. For example, sometimes these teeth have a pegged shape or pointed shape appearance. Uh, sometimes these teeth are missing. In, the, in that case, the maxillary central incisor is in contact with the permanent canine. Sometimes there is a groove on the lingual aspect. Uh, here the groove is not present but sometimes there is a groove and in that case it is known as the palato radicular groove. The tooth has a slightly rounded incisal edge. The mesioincisal angle is slightly rounded as compared to the mesioincisal angle of the central incisor while the distoincisal angle is even more rounded as compared to the mesioincisal angle. The labial surface of the tooth is more convex as compared to the central incisor. The root length is greater as compared to the crown length. The root tapers evenly and in the apical one third it curves in a distal direction and ends in a pointed apex. The mesial marginal ridge and the distal marginal ridges are marked and the cingulum is prominent. Therefore, the lingual fossa is more concave than the central incisor and the lingual fossa is V-shaped. The tooth tapered towards the lingual side, therefore you can see part of the mesial surface and part of the distal surface from the palatal aspect. The crown is shorter and the root is relatively longer. The curvature of the cervical line is marked in the direction of the incisor ridge. The incisor ridge is well developed, which makes the incisal portion of the tooth appears more thicker. The incisor ridge is in line with the center of the root apex. The width of the crown is more from the distal aspect as compared to the mesial aspect. The curvature of the cervical line is in the direction of the incisal ridge, while the curvature is less as if you compare it from the mesial aspect. A developmental depression is present on the root surface, while on the mesial side there was no developmental depression. The crown resembles a small central incisor. The labiolingual dimension is more as compared to the mesiodistal dimension. The labial surface is more convex if you compare it with the central incisor.